The latest update for Luminar Neo has just dropped, version 1.0.5. And I'm going to tell you about everything that's new and exciting in this update. Hi, I'm Darlene from Digital Photo Mentor, and I help beginning and intermediate photographers improve their work from capture right in the camera through to the end of the editing process. So without further ado, let's hop over to Luminar Neo and I'll show you what's new. To get started, first you need to update your Luminar Neo. If you're on a Mac, just click on the Luminar Neo logo in the upper left corner and then check for updates. If you're on Windows, you just have an extra step. Click on the logo, then help, and then check for updates. You can see that I've already done this update, but if you haven't done it yet, you just press the button and follow the directions. If for some reason that isn't working, just log in to your account on Skylum.com and go to My Software and you'll see the download for version 1.0.5 right there. With this version, there is one major program update and that is to the presets. I'll tell you about that as well as a few other smaller upgrades as well. Previously, presets were located over here on the right hand side next to the edits module. Now you'll find the link to get to the presets at the top next to catalog. You can also press T on the keyboard to jump there immediately with the keyboard shortcut. If you would like to download my free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts PDF, that's a mouthful to say, just click the link in the description below the video. Once you're in the preset panel, if you were using Luminar AI, you'll notice that this looks very familiar. Now you can see little previews and a list of all the presets available. And at the top, it suggests some that might work for this image. So you'll notice that it shows urban style. So let's see what that looks like. So I can just go ahead and pick one of these presets. I chose Toronto. Now you'll notice that the image got considerably brighter. That's because in my previous edit on this image, it was a little bit overexposed and I did a lot to darken it. But now the preset has overwritten all my other edits. But what's different this time is now you have access to all of those edits that the preset has applied. So you can go back and find any of the things that were applied in this preset and adjust them. So I could go back to develop and just darken it back down again. Remember to go back up to the top tool to have all the effects apply. Then I could just go through one by one and you can edit any of the sliders that you like to adjust the look. But there's something else new about presets as well. This was a pet peeve for a lot of people in that when you applied a preset in Luminar Neo previously, you were stuck. You couldn't even undo it. Now they've introduced undo just for presets though. So don't get too excited. It's not undo for all your edits. It will just undo back to the previous version before the presets. So undo does my one step that I did with the develop and then undo again, takes me back to before I applied that preset. So to me, that is a big plus and an improvement over the previous versions. But let's say I like the edits that I did on this image you also have another new option, and that is to be able to save as your own new preset. Down at the bottom here under Actions, and you'll see that whether you're in the Edit panel or in the Preset panel, just click this little up arrow to save it as a preset. Give it a name. I'm going to call it Havana because that's where this one was taken. Now I can apply that to any other picture. Here's another image that I shot in Havana. So I'm going to apply my preset just by clicking it. So again, the benefit of undo is if you don't like the preset you just applied previously, all you could do is turn that preset off, but all your other edits were lost. Now you can just go edit, undo, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, command or control Z or Z, and it removes the preset and puts you back where you left off. Likewise, you can also save presets to favorites. So if we like one in this urban style, we can just click the heart and save it to favorites and it shows up 
in here. One other thing worth mentioning is that you can also revert or hit this little back arrow on a preset and it will take you directly back to the state your image was in prior to applying the preset. One more thing I want to show you with presets is you can now also share them. If you click these three dots next to any of your own presets, you can't do this with any others that you've purchased or added, but ones that you've created yourself, just click on the three dots here next to the preset and choose Show in Finder if you're on Mac or Show in Windows Explorer if you're on Windows, and then share this entire contents of this folder that comes up with your friends, so you can easily create and swap presets. Overall, I think these additions and changes to the preset tool and panel have been a great improvement. It's definitely moving in the right direction and it makes the presets much more usable. Now I have a question for you. If you've been using Luminar Neo for a while now, what is your favorite or top three Luminar Neo tools? For me, it's a toss up. I really like Mystical, because I apply it to a lot of my landscape and to a lot of my portrait images because it gives us this really nice glow like that. Coming in as a close second, I'm really beginning to like the color harmony tool, in particular the color contrast slider, because you can do some really neat things with this in terms of bringing out color in opposite areas. So for example, if you have a blue hour, you can darken the sky while punching up the yellows of the city lights at the same time with one slider. Or as I'm doing here with this flower, darken the yellows and punch the pinks at the same time. So color harmony with the color contrast slider would be my second. And then my third would be the entire set of portrait tools because I do a lot of people and portrait editing. Leave a comment below the video and let me know what are your favorite three tools inside Luminar Neo. The next minor update that's included with 1.0.5 is to the mood tool when you're applying a LUT. It's not immediately obvious what they've done or what's new because it looks exactly the same. Where it comes into play is when you add a new custom LUT. You'll notice that when I pull down my menu now, I actually have three listed here at the top above the default ones. So what happens is when you choose add a custom LUT now, you can navigate to where you have some custom LUTs saved. I've got the Land of Freedom LUTs that were on sale a while ago to support Ukraine and Skyline. I just have to select one and add it. And then you'll see this little progress bar happening here, a couple of flashes. And what it's doing is it's adding it to the resource files. Now you can see it's listed as custom LUTs and I can just switch back and forth to any of these without having to add them again. So that's a really cool update. If you decide you don't like one anymore, you notice there's a little trash can off to the right here. Just click it and it will be removed. I'm hoping with the next update, they provide us a preview of the LUTs when we hover over with the mouse. But for now, I created a little workaround to solve that problem and I made contact sheets of the Land of Freedom LUTs and the default ones so that you could preview them ahead of time. If you'd like to download my contact sheets for free, just use the link in the description below the video. One other quick edit they've done to Luminar Neo is the ability to delete a layer quickly just by hitting the delete key. So if you have a layer selected as I've added here, previously you had to right click and choose remove. Now you can just hit delete and the layer is deleted. I have mixed feelings on that because it might be too easy to do it by accident, but we'll see how it goes. It certainly speeds up your workflow. But do be careful if you've added a layer and done a lot of work that you don't hit delete by accident. If you need help learning how to use the software, I have just the thing for you. Luminar Neo, the complete course. There's over 29 lessons and Q&As to help you out. Watch this video now if you want to know how to make the custom contact sheet for your lots. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.